So I wanted to show what I got in the store today. Uh, actually, XK Glow sent this out to me, and it's an advanced uh, app control LED lighting for my car. Uh, my car license plate is Glow Car, as you can probably see in the uh, portrait that I have for it. Um, and then, so Glow Car basically it illuminates the car. Uh, so everything I have on my car is XK Glow. So if you visit xkglowcar.com, uh, that goes directly to me. If you go to xkglow.com, uh, then you can actually find all their products. So uh, actually my car is going to be, is or uh, has been and growing in with XK Glow products. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. So this one here, I can give you a link to the video down below in the description and it will talk to you, uh, it will tell you what it can do. Uh, but I also will have an after install video as well of what this actually does to my car. So we're going to go ahead and open this box. So the box is basically it comes with your instructions. It comes with two turn signals. I'm not sure why will they send me two turn signals. So basically these turn signals are going to be like now the lights are going to be underneath my car. As I do a left turn, you're going to see my left turn signal in the front, left turn signal in the back, as well as my right turn signal and right rear turn signal, or whenever I'm using the turn signals. But instead, now it's going to illuminate the whole bottom half of my car, from the front and front of my wheels, uh, to in between my rims, and all the way to the back of the wheels where the muffler's at. It's going to be illuminated all orange at night. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to show really during the day, but we'll see how that's going to go. Um, so there might be two of them because one is for the left and then one is for the right. Uh, but I'm going to have to double check that. They may have just sent me an extra one. Uh, I don't know why, but for, you know, sometimes they do send me extras. Uh, there's also instructions in doing the uh, turn mods. And it basically just says here that, uh, it will just say something simple here that uh, if it's uh, connected to various sources, signal sources, such as a headlight, reverse light, door courtesy, or different purposes. So basically if the door is open, uh, everything underneath the car of that specific section will illuminate in white. If I have the hazard lights in, the whole, the front, left, right, rear, left, right, and the underneath the car will be blinking orange all over, uh, which is like, uh, hey, that's a, that's a glow car, all right. Um, let's see, I've never had on under glow car lights before. Uh, this is something new to me. I've always had interior, trunk, hood, door panels, ghost uh, emblems. Uh, there's a light bar in the front that would all show you in my other videos if you look into them. You see how I upgraded my car little by little. So basically I get these nice long bars. These are 10 inch tubes. Um, which they say it's 10 inch too, but it doesn't really look like 10. According to the purchase, it says I would get eight, it's 20 to 24 inches. So they sent me a much more larger size. So that means I can definitely be able to put two on each side of the car. So it's gonna eliminate pretty bright. Uh, there's some zip ties here too as well, as you can see. So basically you can do these in two different ways. You can either mount them on, through uh, a mounting bracket with screws drilled into underneath the car somewhere. Um, hopefully not through the, uh, the the paneling, probably through the metal will probably be better, so it's just more secure. Um, plus you wouldn't want your LEDs to be popping out where the someone can see them from a side view and say, hey, is that an LED light? Oh, you know, you might get pulled over. Also watch out for what city and state you're in uh, because these might be restricted and they may have to pull them off. So I'm just going to have them hidden underneath so they're not even being seen at all. Uh, so basically I'm going to put in the mounting brackets, screw each one of them in uh, for each side and in the middle as well as the wiring that is coming involved. So these are the, all the wiring here. There's one wiring, there's two, there's three, four, and then fifth one is the uh, additional extension wiring cord in case I want to go a little longer. So you're going to get, I got myself four of them plus one. And then I got an extra one uh, to make my XK Chrome 
which now this is going to be Bluetooth, Bluetooth enabled. So basically I'm going to be sitting in my car instead of pushing a button, I'll be pushing a button on my iPhone or my iPod, which I have it linked already uh, with my other devices in the car. And so basically this is the XK Chrome. So this is what it'll look like, as you can see. Uh, it has a very soft, like, kind of matte finish to it. Uh, there is no button or anything. This little white circle here does illuminate. And then this XK Glow has a blue background, basically meaning your device is connected to it. But this is going to be stored somewhere in the engine, so I'm never going to see it. Uh, here are the control connections for the cabling when you connect them through the cable. So basically you have to consider it as a loop. You start from one end, you go all the way around to the other car, around the car to the other side, and then this will connect. So it has to be one whole complete unit linked. Uh, okay, and then that's pretty much it. Now this XK Chrome, you can have to two zones. Uh, two zones, so that means I'm gonna have one zone for underneath, second zone is gonna be on my uh, front LED uh, HID lights in my headlights uh, that will be the second one and then then I'm pretty much set already there I could do my internal my internals are still second gen XK Glow 7 color series and they work fine they're sufficient XK Glow was nice enough to send me a new controller because the old controller burned out or something happened to it so they sent it to me free of charge I got it installed today and it is booming it's it's working great all over again which i love it um the other thing is it does come with a master power switch so this master power switch goes on your battery you have the positive and negative here that's uh connected you have the red and black wire uh then you have this extension cord that goes through this little connection piece goes to the xk chrome module you'll connect it here to provide power to it because this is coming from the car battery and then it also has one master switch button and the master switch button you can put in your car somewhere where it's accessible by your car steering uh, but I'm actually going to have it put on the left hand side on some cars on the left side they have a little power switch which is like for your traction or if you're a lane assist and so forth I have a module that fits there perfectly that this will go in so basically these wires will be cut and then this power switch will be in use of uh, the power switch that I have on the side. It'll look like it was standard factory from the from Toyota. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can plug these in just for the heck of it to a car battery and see how they illuminate. See how, how I can control the XK Chrome through Bluetooth. There's a Bluetooth app as well. And uh, Let's see where it goes from there. And then from that point, we're going to have to go ahead and do the actual install. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.